14 abandoned ships, ferries and liners. 14. A ship is safe in the harbour. But that's not what ships are for. A very well-known quote about ships, and so very true. One of the more recent ships that had to be abandoned in a hurry was the Italian cruise liner, the Costa Concordia. Tragedy struck in 2012, and 32 people died in this awful incident. The ship was valued at $500 million, and the captain, who caused this tragedy, was imprisoned for manslaughter. 13. Come sail away with me. But it won't be on the MS World Discoverer, as that is still beached on the Solomon Islands. For 25 years, this ship sailed trouble-free. But sadly, on the 30th of April 2000, the ship struck some reef on the rocks. This captain, unlike our previous one, managed to get the liner into shallow waters, and everyone on board was saved. Sadly, the ship is still beached and stripped to bay by locals. 12. Long Forgotten the MS Lord Selkirk II, once held the title of being the largest cruise ship ever built, is now a shell of its former glory. It was launched in 1969 and would take passengers on the Red River for overnight holidays. It sailed those waters till 1990, when it was confirmed it was no longer financially viable. They did try to revive her at one point, but a fire swept through the remains, making it even more difficult to repair. It ended up costing $400,000 to dismantle her and take her off the waters she once graced with her beauty. 11. Aye aye, Captain! The Beagle Channel is a very treacherous channel, situated in Oshaya. It's very close to Antarctica and borders a section of Chile. Many ships have sunk in this channel, and in 1953, a rescue tug was sent in there to try and salvage some of those sunken ships. St. Christopher didn't survive it either, and is now abandoned and lies near a shire still today. True testament to this threatening channel. 10. Shipaholic San Francisco's Barbary Coast has a pretty interesting history, and back in 1849, when there was no railway line, people would arrive by ship. It was during the gold rush, so there were quite a large number of people heading over. Many ships were just left in the water, and eventually they clogged the bay. The ships were eventually filled in, built over, and basically disappeared. These days, when construction is being done on some of the modern buildings, people are uncovering these boats and ships dating back to the 1800s. 9. Sailing the Seven Seas Perhaps in its heyday, but that is no longer the case. The TSS Duke of Lancaster was constructed in 1956. It has now become a canvas for artists. This ship was built at the same place the Titanic was built, and it was used as a ferry and a cruise ship at one point. It landed up in Wales in 1979, and that's where it stayed, and became a spot for locals to coat with colourful images. 8. Land Ahead Sadly for the QE2, that was all it was going to see for a long, long time. This beautiful liner was a premium cruise ship and transatlantic liner from 1969 through till 2008 when she was retired. A private section of Dubai World purchased the liner and had big dreams of converting her into a floating hotel. But the financial crisis wasn't kind to them and the plans were put on hold. There is now talk of it being scrapped, sent to China for a floating hotel and a mall. And so the list continues for this once gorgeous liner. 7. Rough Seas Ahead 1951 was the year the SS Independence was launched. This luxurious liner was often frequented by Hollywood stars and royalty. Ownership changed in the 1970s and then in the 80s returned to her original makers. By the 90s, money was tight and it was difficult to keep her afloat. 2001, her owner filed for bankruptcy and the ship was resold several times. The ship was due to be scrapped in India, but the government forbade her entry as she was still filled with toxic waste that would damage their coastline. The ship was finally beached off Alang and torn to pieces. 6. Once Upon a Time it may not look like much now, but this boat was built in 1865, and these are still some of its remains. Called the Dara, she used to be a Foss Tea Clipper, working for the Orient Line. She was then an immigrant ship for the New Australians in 1887, and eventually gutted by fire in 1899. It was towed to Quail Island in 1951, where it's remained ever since. 5. A Sailor's Life for Me this record-setter ship is called the SS United States, and in 1952, it managed to travel across the ocean in just 3 days, 10 hours and 40 minutes. The ship was retired in 1969, towed to Pennsylvania, where it's now a rusty, futile eyesore. 4. A Little Seasick 
1955 was the year the beautiful MV Aurora was launched in West Germany. She has sailed under many different names including Delos, Polar Star, Pacific Star, Xanadu, Expex, Faithful and then Aurora. She could carry 1,600 passengers and was sadly declared abandoned in 2007. Her current owner is Christopher Wilson and she's currently being restored. Sadly, there seem to be a number of legalities concerning this girl and there's a good chance she'll end up being sold for scrap. 3. Where good fairies go to die We've seen an airplane graveyard before, but this is Staten Island's abandoned ferries, which is just as eerie. It's the final resting place for boating wrecks, where they are left to rot. The ferries are particularly eye-catching as they played such an important role at some point in their lives, ensuring that people were able to get to and from work. It's sad to see them rotting away like that. 2. The Motion of the Ocean This liner comes from Yugoslavia and was a cruise ship specifically built to cash in on the lucrative market of traveling through the Alaskan and Antarctic waters. The MV Lyubov Orlova sailed for 25 years before it was seized due to huge debts owing on it. She was sold to Neptune International Shipping in 2012, who had intentions of breaking her up for scraps. However, while transporting her, the rope snapped and they lost her in the water. They spotted her floating in Irish waters in 2013, and the story goes that a tug was sent out to fetch her and tow her into international waters, and they deliberately cut her loose. Where she is now, I'm really not sure. 1. As free as the ocean Free Enterprise III was a massive vehicle and passenger ferry crossing from Dover to Calais non-stop since it was built in 1966. She ran perfectly till 1984 and was sold and renamed to Mira. Sadly, new owners weren't as successful with her and they sold her in 1985. She ran well again through till 2004 when she sadly ran aground in a well-known dangerous reef in Saudi Arabia. She's been grounded and abandoned ever since.